It was my first time on a frigate and I was intrigued with how things worked. And who better to ask than one of my cabin mates, Emmy Wan Rain Teo, who let me tag along with her for one of her shifts. Rain is a marine systems engineer and is part of the team that keeps the frigate sailing. We not only provide uh, the basic, like the uh, electricity, the water and the aircon, but the most importantly is we make the ship move. The engineers are in charge of all the systems on the ship and Rain suggested we follow her down to the engine room to show us what she does to keep the ship moving. Uh, now I'm going for the power engine room rounds. I'm going to check uh, the generator. I'm going to prep the engine and I'm going to check all the system that is running to ensure there's no uh, leakage. The sweat-inducing engine room houses the ship's four large turbines. Rain checks the generators and then, at the command of the machinery control room, switches the two active turbines with the two latent ones. She may be small in size, but Rain is definitely a force to be reckoned with. Meanwhile, ME5 Vincent Chan prepares a surprise for the crew, a fire drill. The key is to test out uh, the response team, how they respond to an alarm, and subsequently how the full fire uh, firefighting team will close up. Besides testing, testing out the firefighting team, we are also looking at how the rest of the ship will respond to the fire. He sets off an alarm with a spray that triggers the smoke detector. Shall watch fire alarm activator in ER4. Roger. Go and investigate now. Door hot, door hot. Unable to proceed in. You will be isolating compartment. Uh, request to activate FM200. You will be setting up primary and secondary smoke Roger. Roger. The engineers quickly gear up for the firefighting drill and seal off the inflamed compartment as the rest of the crew evacuates. Meanwhile, Rain is back in the machinery control room in front of the Incident Board of Occurrences, or IBO. She is the middleman between the investigator on the scene and the officer who decides how to deal with the damage, and it's her job to keep the board and the crew updated on the fire through pipes. As the first fire is quelled, a new fire is reported, this time in the dry provision store. Roger set the smoke boundary for outside galley to the outside spec laundry. For exercise, for exercise, for exercise. Fire, fire, fire. Fire at dry provi store 2. The main passageway for outside. Another team dashes onto the scene. Just then, the medical officer's report comes in over the comms. A casualty was found and brought to the medical centre. The casualty is treated by the medical officer and two medics. We have one priority two casualty. Uh, he's stable right now, requiring evacuation within 24 to 48 hours. Currently, he has just had mild burns to the face. Doesn't look like it involves his uh, mouth or his nose. Over. And with that, the drill ends. In the dark of night, Rain heads out to get a sample for her jet fuel test. Uh, now I'm going to yeah, start the pump. You can hear the sound. So I have to already uh, throttle the valve to increase the pressure. So we have to take the sample from the highest point, which for the nozzle. Because this is where you'll be fitted to the halo and pump through the fuel into the halo tank. 
To ensure the Hello flies uh, safely every day, I will conduct the test to ensure that the jet fuel is free of uh, particles, there's no water contamination and uh, the fuel doesn't freeze at a certain point of the uh, weather's conditions. Water, Next, she tests for solid particles. That test turns out negative too. She then uses the same fuel that has passed the previous tests for the anti-icing test. She adds some water to the fuel and then agitates the solution for 5 minutes to ensure proper consistency for the test. So the passing range for this is 0.1 to 0.15 and the result is now 0.12 which within the range is a pass. We can give the fuel to the yellow tomorrow.